We are trying to build a Tony Stark AI, not a fake one, but a real one from the Iron Man 1 movie. The whole purpose is to get the full out GUI, the full out natural language processing, the actual general language modeling that goes on behind the scene, the dynamic GUI changes on the page, and last but not least, the actual voice communication back and forth. In this video, we're just going to look at building the GUI. Okay, let's get started. So, what he did in Iron Man 1 Index as Mark 2 was he already had his desktop GUI running and his desktop GUI was just an interface but all the back end stuff being done I guess through some kind of remote server so this is kind of thing you want to keep in mind when you're building this there's a remote server or some server somewhere else and these tools these interfaces are nothing more than just visualization of what he's doing and what we did in this video was actually use electron.js. There's a lot of other examples out there, but I think electron.js is one of the best that can actually be implemented where we have a desktop application that has a true interface and connection with Chromium tools along with the internet. So with that being said, we can do a lot with that, especially since it's using node.js, so it runs on a server. I think all of this works well when it comes to building out a front end that looks very similar to the Iron Man in Iron Man 1. If you're a standard software engineer, you know these tools like Node.js and Visual Studios and all these tools here you can use that were able to build up a project like Electron.js, right? Get that started and then you start going through just regular HTML, CSS things to build out your elements and you know components. So I took a very React.js approach to this to build out the interfaces on both sides. There are two sides to this uh, system. There is the trainer, which goes through all the AI system to train and the models so they'd be able to be used. And then on the other side, there's actual like the recognition and understanding and building so you can communicate back and forth. These two systems are similar to what Tony has. One system is where he does all of his work and the other system is, is actually doing the actual interpretation and understanding. You can see that from the screen. The left screen is just simple generation, things are happening in real time. And I think the right hand screen is actually used to understand, communicate, and process information that Tony is talking about. And if you like videos like this, subscribe, hit that like button, because it really helps as I try to build more videos like this. So one side is doing all the generation and processing and understanding in real time. Now, Tony doesn't have a training system, at least I don't think he does. Maybe it's all in one big UE, but we, we split them up into two so that we have one. We don't have that generation like that, the generating things on a page. We're looking at that in the third or a different video where it's all about just generation on the page. I went through the very intense design phase trying to build this out. It was really looking at the page, looking at exactly how they built it and keep going back and forth and trying to build the exact elements. Now you may say, well, why you wouldn't build the same things? So what I did differently was you can't build exact same things he had. Remember the movie was real. But what you could do is take some real elements out of this. Like what is real that can be siphoned? And I liked a lot of the elements on there, including like the voice modulator. Metals used the gold titanium alloy from the seraphim tech. And things like that we might get to at a later time. Thanks for watching and let's get that general language model working in the next video.